You filming? I stopped. Are you filming now? Hello, everybody, and how do you do? Gonna rock shock your body with the cryptic soul screw. Rock, rock to the beat, y'all. Rock, rock to the beat, y'all. When decisive came to rap, the mega city got scared. Cause I came with Clemson and my nostrils flared. And fuck, I remembered more than I thought I would. 1997. I am a aspiring battle rap MC working with a posse of hip hop rapsters called the Cryptic Souls Crew. We'd record songs and demos on four track tape recorder. Out of the blue, a group from Halifax shows up into our lives named Len. I thought the main guy, Marcus Stanza, he was pretty cool. We started working on some songs that would end up being on the Len album, You Can't Stop the Bum Rush. We were never thinking about things like publishing or anything that had to do with the business. One day, I'm in school, high school, and I get a call from someone that I'll, 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 I'll that shall remain nameless in this. You just gotta sign something, and I got a present for you. And I was like, a present? I like presents. And like I said, I'm in high school, I think grade 11, and I said, uh, I'm gonna be done, I don't know, three o'clock, so I can be anywhere around 3.34. So I met him at Eglinton West subway station. I pay to get into the station and he pulls out this, he pulls out official record label paperwork. No lawyers, no even time to read it. And he was just kind of like, yeah, it's not a big deal. You know, you just, just sign, sign the paper. Just, it's, it's just so they have your permission to release the music that you worked on. And I was like, okay. So I signed the paper like nothing. Sign here, sign here, sign here. And I'm just signing away. And then he's like, now it's time for your gift. And he hands me an envelope, $200, $200. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I felt like an instant fucking millionaire. I couldn't, a 17 year old with $200 in 1997, yes please. And I, my mind was blo exploding, like I couldn't understand. Like, wait, you're giving me this? Like just for these raps that I wrote? Like I went right down the, the, the escalators, straight northbound to Yorkdale Mall, and I bought a pair of Jordans, and I think I watched Austin Powers. <laughs> Maybe a month or two later, Steal My Sunshine drops. Fucking biggest, <laughs> biggest song in the world. I know it's up to me if you steal my sunshine. And that's my Len story. My name is Derek Kristoff. Over and out. He's just, he's just committing to the, but is that him with the backpack? Yeah. <laughs>